Hey guys, welcome back. Got Chris back in the garage with his TDI. Um, before we start, I just thought we'd show you the wheel bearing and what condition it's in at the moment. Chris, give that wheel a shake. Insane. That is not the ball joint. That is not the tie rod. That is completely the wheel bearing. So we have everything we need. Including new brakes. And we are going to fix this problem. Yeah, so at the same time, we're probably going to end up having to make a tool to put the bearing on the hub itself because it's quite a tight fit and I don't have a press handy. Not today, anyway. So we're going to make a tool, and if it works, I'm going to show you how to make that tool because it cost us pennies. So, uh, stay with us. Yeah. Listen to that. The bearings are just moving freely in there. Quality workmanship right there. No, it's just time taking its toll. Probably never been done, ever. No, nope, looks original. Any sandpaper? Yeah, I think so. I got a better wire brush too. I just need. Uh, you want to clean the bottom of that strata? Mm-hmm. Here's the paper. Give me one sec. Oh, yeah. Here's our new assembly with the everything installed, bearings and stuff. As you can see, big difference from the old one. We also ground down for the brakes because we put new brakes on not ground down sorry we sanded down these edges here so it's nice and smooth so proper brake function uh, the ABS sensor lines up perfect we got it all lined in nice in fact this I gotta be honest this was probably the easiest thing we've done in a while oh yeah especially this time well I don't think we expected it to go that easy but it definitely was a lot easier with makeshift tools and things that we made yeah yeah, speaking of makeshift tools, we didn't even end up needing much. We took the old bearing cup to push the new one in. Because it fits over top of the bearing yeah. perfectly. Right. Obviously on this side, we'll show you. Obviously the same size as the old bearing, so you just throw that over top. And I ended up going to buy this washer, which drops in the old race. Then you can take a, a socket, stick it in the center, and just slowly work the bearing in, nice and even. And the trick is to go slow. slow. The faster you go, the more of a chance it doesn't line up and, and it won't same, be straight. Same goes for the hub as well. Toss the whole assembly right over top of the hub and just work use it a inside. block of wood. Don't wreck your garage floor or anything that you might be working on. Wood can absorb the impact but still keep it solid. And remember to keep the spacing. Look at how close we got. You need the spacing. You don't want that hitting the sensor, obviously. No. And you don't want it too far away or else it's not going to get a reading. Exactly. So, that's where we're at now. Just thought we'd update you. Yeah, I told you we'd make a tool, but it ended up being much simpler than we expected. So no tool really needed to be made. However, we could probably weld that washer inside that cup, though. So, time for reassembly. So we got the wheel bearing on. New brakes, both sides. Chris is just tacking up his muffler. And um, we're pretty much dropping this down and uh, gonna be good to go. So that's pretty much it. Quick day for us. So if you like what you see, just give me a like. All right, thanks for stopping by.